Fort Ransom is a small place within the state of North Dakota, USA, that may hold an enormous yet quietly held secret. In this small slice of the rural farming lands of the United States lies a place known as Pyramid Hill, a small, modest pyramidal mound which is very similar in shape and size to the curious pyramidal mound found in other parts of the world, such as Silbury Hill, a chalk pyramid within the UK. Long argued by a number of funded geologists as a mere natural formation, however, local residents, along with historical accounts within the area, have strongly disagreed with these conclusions, since their predictable acceptance by the academic community. A vast portion of the surrounding population believe, including a number of specialist historians and archaeologists, that Pyramid Hill is in fact that of a man-made pyramid. What's more, they hold to the belief that it is the oldest pyramidal structure on Earth. What makes this site the most interesting, we feel, however, and the reason for this video, is the writing stone which was found nearby some centuries ago. Clearly very ancient cup and ring marks, and constructed to form some kind of communication. They have, however, remained undeciphered. They are incredibly intriguing, and are reminiscent of a hybrid between music and Morse code. Yet all attempts to establish a translation of the pattern have been unsuccessful. Located in the Cheyenne River Valley, in southeastern North Dakota, pitted mysteriously cup and ring marked boulders appear in Saskatchewan, South Dakota, Iowa, and many other sites all over the world. Just who created them remains a mystery. Was the writing stone left by the original builders of Pyramid Hill? If so, why is it an unknown language? Who wrote it? Is Pyramid Hill really the oldest pyramid on Earth? Built by an unknown culture who clearly spoke and wrote a highly complex and as yet undecipherable language? Perhaps one day we will find out the truth. So today is update time. Dr. Sam Osmanagic, please tell us about the connection of the Bosnian pyramids to the cosmic internet. It's been since 2005 that we started the Bosnian pyramid project. It started as archaeological digging. But then we expanded to interdisciplinary scientific projects. Then, due to the energy properties that we've been investigating, that was the third aspect. And then we got spiritual aspect and self-healing aspect. We realized that pyramids are actually huge energy amplifiers using existing natural energy sources. This past week, Dr. Samir Osmanagish has returned from a 22-day expedition into the Cambodian jungle as a member of a controversial team exploring the underbelly of the Koh Kir pyramid that has been discovered within the jungles. It was not initially made publicly clear what his work involved, or indeed if it was connected to his extensive and extremely controversial studies of the pyramids within Bosnia. However, upon his return to the Bosnian site, he has revealed what he has been quietly confirming. Structural similarities have been discovered beneath the Great Pyramids, characteristics which he believes will lead to a shift in our understanding of the function of all pyramids here on Earth. A few months ago, we shared with you a video regarding the countless testimonies of people from all over the world who have experienced strange energy surges and beams of light when in the presence of these grand, ancient buildings. He is now convinced that the Bosnian, along with the Kokir Pyramid, contain all the characteristics needed to form some sort of free energy machine. The pyramid's geometry, orientation towards the sides of the world, application of the sacral elements, the design of the water flows beneath them, the passages under the pyramids, and the large presence of iron are all designated sources for an electromagnetic generator. The first 10 days of May 2017, Osmanagic spent in Tibet. Besides visiting the Buddhist temples, his goal was also to visit the pyramidal mountain Kailash. The tour takes three days, and during which the distance covers a grueling 54-kilometer terrain, reaching almost 5,650 meters in altitude. Now, back in Bosnia, 
the director of the Archaeological Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation, will host, together with a doctor, a group of 130 distinguished guests from Egypt, India, China, and other noted nations in a series of four seminars regarding his finds. Dr. Asmanagish claims on the surface of, and underneath, the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, archaeological digs have also found quartz crystals. The crystal is present in the underground tunnels also. A Finnish researcher, called Mika Virparanta, has also found 26 volcanic lines leading to the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Mr. Asmanagish believes his research also shows the importance of the location of the pyramids in Vesoko. He said, My research and arguments that the pyramids were built worldwide, and that the oldest pyramids are also the most superior ones, has led to situations where Egyptologists have created a wall of hostility towards me. Our evidence which indicates that the oldest and highest quality concrete on Earth can be found at the Pyramid of the Sun, and the existence of the large network of prehistoric tunnels, has resulted in written petitions being sent to the European Archaeological Association fighting against our research being made public. However, time and scientific arguments confirm that we were right and they were wrong. He also supports the ancient alien theory. He added, Life originated thanks to an intervention on our planet. Species on Earth change in the long term through experiments, where evolution plays a minor role. Yet Homo sapiens are the result of genetic engineering, and, of course, we are not the first nor the most advanced civilization in the history of the planet. End quote. I will keep you all posted. Simir Osmanagic, a Bosnian-American businessman now based in Houston, Texas, has long claimed that a particular and uncannily angled hill, long presumed as a natural formation, is actually the largest human-made ancient pyramid on Earth. The claims have predictably been met with hostility by those in the academic world who protect modern paradigm. His work has also been heavily criticized, not only as a hoax, but damaging to the other areas of Bosnia which are authentic and mainstream accepted ruins. However, regardless of these hostilities, Samir has continued his research and promotion of the area as a tourist attraction. Furthermore, what he has since discovered from numerous excavations is curious, clearly artificial, and massive ancient activities now hidden beneath several meters of strata. Not only have these discoveries of ancient masonry corroborated his ancient claim, but there is also evidence to suggest that incredible efforts were made to divert and control the flow of local water systems, channeling them into and beneath the structure. Regardless of these discoveries, mainstream sources continue to dismiss his claims, and indeed further supporting discoveries, continuing to retain a position of complete denial claiming that, quote, there is no evidence that they were shaped by human construction. The European Association of Archaeologists has condemned the so-called Bosnian pyramids as a cruel hoax, along with various other scholars, end quote. There are others, however, who have looked into the research and indeed Samir's efforts in depth, and from this have come to realize that there is much about this curious hill still to be unraveled. And regardless of the skeptics' unrelenting hostility to said claims, they have discovered something rather extraordinary. According to radiocarbon dating, done on an artificially constructed tunnel which penetrates the pyramidal feature, if accepted by mainstream academics, they would also have to be dated at over 32,000 years old. Could this be the reason for such hostilities in regard to fully exploring the site? The tunnels found in Ravni Park II have been carbon dated by the Archaeological Park Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation. We have ourselves in the past explored the casing stones upon the Great Pyramids of Giza. These stones clearly of a much younger age than the stone in which they are now preserving. Severe erosion upon these earlier stones, we feel, may also be indicative of a similar age to that found at the Bosnian site. Samir commented on the latest find by stating, quote, According to the results of the examination of stalagmites found in the new tunnels, 
we discovered an antiquity of 26,200 years old. It means that these entrances and tunnels, which until now have remained hidden from the public, go deep into the past of the region. He continued, When we add the time needed to prepare the base for the creation of stalagmites and corrections for calibrated age to the radiocarbon age, we arrive at about 32,000 years. This is exactly the age of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun and the underground tunnels of Ravni, and they are all part of the same culture," concluded Osmanagic, speaking to Denevni Avaz. These discoveries, along with Samir's earlier work, regardless of the skepticism which predictably surrounds the site, we find highly compelling. We have in the past covered the astonishing discovery solely made by Dr. Sam Osmanagat within Bosnia, long thought to have merely been a hill, completely overgrown and neglected, with many locals even building upon and farming its inclines. Dr. Osmanagat, however, after studying the geology of the area, realized the reason for precise angles of this supposed natural formation eventually confirming that it was, indeed, an enormous ancient pyramid. One that, after long, arduous research, has been found to rival even those of Giza. Indeed, even its plateau, especially if one takes into consideration the following exposé. Regardless of constant mockery, objections, resistance, and dismissal he has predictably experienced from mainstream-funded academia, Dr. Osmanagat has not only unearthed vast portions of this ancient structure, proving beyond doubt that it was indeed an ancient pyramid, but has also successfully penetrated its inner sanctum, along with many other highly intriguing ancient sites located within the local vicinity. All littered with stones that seemingly give off resonance frequencies that are not only being ignored by mainstream scientists, but baffling all those who valiantly decide to explore their features. Yet, thanks to Jock and Sam's continued efforts, our understandings of the incomprehensible, astonishingly true scale of this site has increased dramatically, and indeed the feat that whoever built it went through in constructing the site, truly unbelievable. Jock spent 16 months as official videographer for the Archaeological Park Foundation a Bosnian NGO non-profit organization created by Dr. Sam Osmanagat, during which, and thanks to the considerable effort of hundreds of volunteers who since 2010 have been involved in the back-breaking excavations of the site, clearing many tons of rock and earth from the area, including the Ravni tunnels, such tunnels are apparently widely known locally for their healing powers, which, upon investigation, Many alternative investigators have recorded unusual bioelectromagnetic energy levels within. Yet, Jock and Sam's most recent personal discoveries is the connection of these tunnels, located a fair distance from the pyramid itself, interwoven with all the local ancient sites, a result clearly intended by the past intelligence responsible for their creation. These tunnels backfilled 4,600 years ago for reasons that many have postulated, was done to avoid further degeneration of the original civilization's work. Thus, we're clearly a conservation effort that, just like I have postulated on several other videos, are the purpose for the casing stones, which can still be found upon the Great Pyramids, were done by groups who clearly revered these sites. Furthermore, regardless of this connection of tunnels, Jock and Samir have also realized, thanks to these contributory excavation efforts, something truly astonishing regarding not only the Bosnian Pyramid, but the entire surrounding area, which, just like the pyramid, were long presumed to have been merely a natural geological landscape. However, all of the curious sites that have been found dotting the surrounding area were not only undeniably man-made but that the entire landscape was actually once carved out by hand or possibly machine. With the river Fonica, which runs through the entire site, masterfully designed to permanently remain placid 
also man-made, and due to the fossilized stonework found, enabling this water's manipulation, according to Jock, indicates it could have possibly been completed millions instead of thousands of years ago, successfully creating a river which gently meanders through the site. Who built the Bosnian Plateau? Who had such tremendous earth-moving and water manipulation capabilities, seemingly many hundreds of thousands or possibly millions of years ago? As the investigations within the area continue, it is slowly growing into one of the most enormous, most compelling areas of evidence of ancient advanced lost civilization to be found anywhere on Earth. Thank you very much to Jock for bringing all this astonishing information to light, furthering all of our understandings of their past capabilities. And as the research grows, so does the compounding proof of these past highly capable civilizations. We will, of course, keep you posted through our connections, a place that is undoubtedly highly compelling.